All right, so I have to start logically breaking up this content before uh, I get started putting it in. So I'm going to do just some some top level thinking over here. Okay, everything in here in this very top top part. Let's just say we're saying mobile first. So let me narrow this viewport. Everything that has this image as the background, that's sort of my my big headline. So um, since that is vastly different than this white background over here, um, I do need to separate that. So inside of the body, what I'm going to do is create a div container and I'm going to call it, I'm going to give it um, an ID equals headline. All right. Um, and then I will close that div and then you know what? Right now, it's easy to see what this div container is closing, but I'm going to use a comment to just put that it closes the headline div container. You know, when this stuff has a bunch of code sandwiched in the middle of it, um, you don't know what that div container is because it's more than likely we'll have to put other div containers inside of there. So um, let's see what else we got logically over here. I know that down here we have these. Um, we have the about, the ingredients, the directions, the video, and then the pictures. And just sort of thinking ahead of the game, I know I'm going to have to separate these pictures from the rest of the stuff. The about, the ingredients, and directions, and the video. Actually, almost technically, I mean... We don't need, even from a semantic or logical standpoint, we don't absolutely need the images. They're a little bit of a flair value add. They just make the page look good. Um, technically, we don't need the video if we want the um, recipe, but it's very helpful. I mean, I, I would say that definitely, unless this was like a step-by-step deal over here showing pictures I think that the video definitely has a lot more value than the um, photos do on showing you how to make it right that's our end goal uh, and obviously very very important is uh, the ingredients direction little about so anyhow with that said what I'm gonna do is I'm thinking of putting the about ingredients directions and video content all in its own little little deal over here in its own div container so um, well let me create a new div I'll give it an ID and for lack of a better name I'll call it section dash one alright and then I'll terminate it and there you go um, and then you know since I have that here anyway what why don't I call the other actually you know let me get rid of this dash I don't necessarily like that dash okay and then what am I gonna do with the images um, well they have a little thing so uh, go figure I'll call it get ready for this section 2 all right, and then finally, I need a footer, and uh, good old HTML does have a footer element because they're so common, so I'm not going to name it footer. I'll just do footer, and uh, I don't need to semantically, or I don't need to comment out that I need it. Um, anyhow, okay, so, so here I have the basic building blocks of what I'm going to start putting in here so my headline has everything in the top over here my section one has everything in the white down to the, the video my uh, section two has my images and some text over here and obviously the footer is going to have this footer